what is up everybody we are doing another video of a sub and amp install on this android unit for the focus st that's annoying slightly better um so i went ahead and ordered a kit off of amazon uh this is everything i got in the kit boss 1100 watt peak power amp i've used this amp before it's very cheap not quality cheap because i've never had a problem with it but i've used it before in other setups and it's never given me a problem and the Boss Audio 8 gauge wiring kit. Um, so everything you get in the 8 gauge wiring kit, you get 8 gauge power wire. This is gonna go from your battery to your amp. You get speaker wire, obviously to go from your amp to your speakers. Your uh, remote wire to go from your radio to your amp to tell your amp to turn on so it's not constantly sucking power. A fuse that's gonna go in line with this so you don't blow anything up. You get I can't remember what this is called. I guess it's like wire protector you can put around your uh, power cable from the battery. You get all sorts of ends and fittings. You get grommets, uh, zip ties so you can keep everything nice and neat. And I have two Pioneer 10 inch subs that we'll be installing and I have installed them before so they're super old. Brand new kit, old subs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and strip one end of this power cable because we are going to have to, to be able to hook it up to the battery. It'd be a lot easier if I had strippers that were actually made for this. All right, so my genius self filmed an entire video today and then proceeded to delete everything. So, here we go again. Um, so to answer everybody's questions, yes, you can install a sub and amp with the stock Android, stock Android, Rebel Devil's Android unit. Um, you don't need a line out converter. Um, so basically I'm just gonna show you how I did that real quick. So we got the positive coming out of the battery, fed it through there with a hanger. Uh, I'm sorry for the bad attitude. I'm just really angry at myself that I deleted those clips. Fed through there. Gave enough slack so when the door closes, it's not a big deal. Took out this weather stripping, fed it down the weather stripping. There's the fuse. And uh, then I went and ran the uh, auxiliary plugs out the back of the radio with the power uh, wire. They're all going through the weather stripping all down the driver's side to the passenger side. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So basically they come out right there and they run behind the seats. So then you get to the back of the car. Uh, the ground is down here. All I did was drill into the chassis a little bit and uh, screw it down with a, a self-tapping, or not self-tapping screw, but a screw. Um, and then just mounted the amplifier on top of the subs. Um, I have a couple clips that didn't get deleted, so I'll, I'll include those. Um, yeah, sorry, but basically with this radio, um, you have uh, front left, front right, rear right, rear left uh, auxiliary plugs that work with the line-out converter. Not the line-out converter, you don't need a line-out converter. That work with the uh, auxiliary cable. Um, either one of those will work. I use the... Um, right uh, or rear right rear left because that's what i had um the only thing different about this radio than other radios is uh most aftermarket radios when you have a power cable you use the uh the blue line the blue cable as your uh, power in this case i had to use the red um i'm not sure why but uh so i use the red just pigtailed into that um but everything still works totally fine um didn't need a line out converter uh, that's that's the big question that everyone's asking, you know, do you need a line converter? Can you run a sub and amp combo? Yes, you can run a sub and amp combo. I'll include everything I bought in the description. Uh, I got them on Amazon. It's a Boss, uh, let me look it up real quick. Actually, it's a Boss Amp 1100 peak watt. Not sure what that means. I don't know anything about audio. I just know how to install it. Um, with uh, two Pioneer 10 inch subs. Um, I will say if you're looking at putting two subs in in your focus don't do it it's way too loud um i'm probably gonna get rid of these and get like a, a low profile 12 and just have the one 
Um, two is way too many. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm super pissed off that I deleted those clips, but you know, I got this is something at least. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, uh, put them in the comments. If there's too many questions, I will probably do. I'll probably end up doing a Facebook Live, or not a Facebook, a YouTube Live. Um, I'll go live on YouTube, you know, you can write in the thing. Any questions you might have, um, if you have a preferred time that you would like that. Uh, thankfully, I can do this right now because we don't have very many uh, subscribers on the channel. Um, I'll try to, you know, go through the comments and see uh, what the most popular time that people can watch is. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, any other questions you have, like the backup camera and everything like that, you know, put that in there too. But, um, yeah, so I'll include those two clips that didn't get deleted, but that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time. So I just pulled up a bass test video on YouTube, and we're going to play it and see how the bass does. Turn that down. Still too loud. So the subs like it. The problem is the door speakers don't. All right, now we'll try it uh, with just a regular song. We'll listen to DJ Quads. I use his music a lot in my videos. Uh, I highly recommend you check him out if you make videos or you just like chill music. Sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Put an amp and a sub with this Android unit from Rebel Devil. Uh, yes, you can. Um, was actually pretty simple if you have done it before. The only thing that was a little bit tricky is the uh, remote power wire because usually uh, it's blue on this, it's red. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that answered a lot of questions. If you want this exact setup, except for the subs, I don't know where the subs came from. I bought them from a buddy a long time ago. But I can give you a link to the uh, amp and the wiring kit and the radio again. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.